Oh, there it is. You guys are probably wondering why my uh, my camera's at the bottom of a stripping basket, and uh, I don't really have a good reason for it, but uh, I guarantee you, by this video, you're gonna know why. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about stripping baskets. Um, line management is an essential part of fly fishing, especially when you get into saltwater fly fishing. You get into some of those big tarpons and stuff, you need to make sure your line can clear the deck safely and not tangled up or you can risk losing fish. Now you can put the little spikes along the edge of your boat, I've seen that, and I've never actually used, been on a boat that has it, um, so I can't really speak to how well that works. Another thing you can do is use a stripping bucket like this one right here from Carbon Marine. Now the issue with these is they can tend to be a little pricey, anywhere from $170 to $225. So if you're looking for a line management system that is kind of inexpensive and you don't want to put spikes all over your boat, well there's a DIY solution. Alright, here it is. This bucket costs about $75 to make. Its dimensions, it's got a, about a 12 and a half inch mouth as well as about a 12 and a half inch base. And then it stands at about 28 inches tall. It's super simple, it takes about 30 minutes. And to put together, you really only need four things. So let's get into it now. In order to make this stripping basket, you're gonna need this U-shaped protector seal, a bucket grip, and then this Rubbermaid trash can liner. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna put links down below to all the equipment that I used. Make it super simple for you guys to find. And actually, like when I went on Amazon, it automatically grouped all this together as soon as I found the trash can liner. So hopefully it'll do that for you guys as well. All right, for tools, I used a grinder, a jigsaw, this drill, and a two inch hole saw, and then this JB Marine Weld. All right, we're gonna start by attaching the bucket grip to the base of the trash can liner. Now, in order to do this, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grind off this lip that is around the bottom of this trash can liner. Once we've got that lip grinded off, this'll, this'll help it set into the bucket grip a little bit better. Now you'll see when you go to do this that it doesn't set down perfectly in the bucket grip. One of the options is you can use roofing screws or some kind of screws. Um, I was worried about having screws sitting in the bottom of it, so I went with a different approach and I'm gonna actually use this JB Marine Weld to attach the bucket grip to the bottom of my uh, trash can liner. Once we've given the base some time to dry, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut uh, handles into the basket. Now I'm gonna set mine up just like my Carbon Marine basket with two handles on either side. And I'm actually gonna use the Carbon Marine basket for the measurements of where I'm gonna place these handles. All right, so the Carbon Marine uh, handles are about five inches by two inches. So we're gonna, um, and then they're about two, in the, the middle of that is about two and a half inches from the top. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that we have the middle evened out and then we're gonna go ahead and mark everything before we start cutting. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out our hand holds. Uh, we'll start by drilling a couple smaller holes first and that'll help our hole saw, go, hole saw go in easier. Once we get done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw a line um, across the top and bottom of the two holes and that's gonna be our line to cut to, to make our oval. All right, once we got that line drawn, we're gonna go ahead, we'll get out our, our, our saw and we're gonna cut that. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this, the U-shape protector seal and we're gonna use that to line around our handles as well as the top of the, bu the bucket. All right, now I know you're thinking, wow, that's easy, we're done. We're not. There's one last step that you have to do to your stripping bucket before it's gonna work and that's you have to put stickers on it because if you do not have stickers on your stripping bucket, you're not gonna catch fish. Think about it. You know I'm right. You've never seen a stripping bucket without stickers. So I'm gonna go get some stickers and we're gonna put them on this thing and then it's gonna be done. All right, there we go, DIY stripping bucket. $75, takes about 30, 40 minutes to build if you're not filming. If you're filming it, it's gonna take a lot longer.
Zach doesn't know it yet, we're gonna give it to him so we can get some footage on the front of the Ancona Shadow Cast. And then I'm hoping I can get it onto some Ginu so you guys can see it on there. Um, but I think this is a great little basket for any little boat and it's a cheap, easy to build and it feels really durable. So I'm excited to see it in action. You guys stay tuned, hit like and subscribe, all that stuff so you can see this thing in action. And I'll see you guys soon.